So she was just talking about experts. Well, today's quake, a reminder that there's more that needs to be done to retrofit buildings ahead of the big one. The LA Times report in December indicated that some 6,000 LA area buildings are still in need of strengthening. The expert in this space is seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones. Uh, thank you so much uh, for all that you've done in this space. Before we get into the retrofitting conversation, real quick, this quake wasn't the biggest, but you make the point, the reason that it felt so strong to so many people is where it was. Exactly. You know, magnitude doesn't tell you what you feel. Magnitude's how much energy released, how much gets to you depends a lot on how far away you are from it. And a lot of people were right on top of this event, you know, right at the border between Los Angeles and South Pasadena, Pasadena. So uh, many people right on top, feeling it very strongly. And of course, you know, when it was felt over the whole Los Angeles basin, then you're going to be seeing it, uh, you know, how many millions of people are involved now. Okay, so we got this mess at Pasadena City Hall, a mm -hmm. pipe burst from this relatively small earthquake. And you think about that compared to what could happen when a much larger quake inevitably hits. What goes through your mind when you see those images in terms of where we're at preparation wise? Well, water is one of our really big issues. I mean, it's a complex problem, right? There's buildings, and we've got a lot of retrofit going on in some communities, not in others. Uh, water systems are probably our most vulnerable thing, and they're very hard to address because, you know, Los Angeles Department of Water and Power is a very big entity, and they're doing a lot, actually, towards seismic resilience. But most of our water companies are really small and don't have the resources to do it. Uh, we need to... It'd be great if we could have some like coherent regional approach for especially for water because that's the one that could shut down our businesses and so like the person that would lead that of course would be you so where are we at <laughs> on that because you have worked on the regional approach on different aspects of retrofitting it, 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 where are we at on that okay on retrofitting um we're a lot better than we were and not nearly as far as I'd like us to be. So of course, it's something that tends to happen at the local jurisdiction, right? Because you, you can't pick up your building and take it to another city. So <laughs> it, it's effective to do it uh, locally with the, the demand um, uh, be behind it. And we've seen, of course, Los Angeles uh, took the big step back in 2015 and passed these laws for several different types of buildings. Um, we've seen several other cities come forward, especially for software story buildings, including Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, Pasadena. Pasadena has a mandatory retrofit on these buildings, not yet completed by any means, but uh, this will be a good reminder to people to do it. Torrance has recently adopted one as well. I believe West Hollywood's involved. We're also seeing a Burbank bank and, and like Long Beach are trying to work on it. Notice there's a lot of cities that I haven't mentioned, mm. you know, so most of the small cities haven't touched it and uh, they're going to suffer when the earthquake happens. You know, and it's not just about life safety. Clearly, that's a big one. We don't want your building killing you like they did in the Northridge Meadows apartments. And, and those are the types of buildings that are that are uh, being retrofitted. But, you know, 17 people died in that building. There were 49,000 housing units that were lost in the event. We already have a big homelessness problem. Mm -hmm. Our estimate is that a San Andreas earthquake is going to create another quarter million homeless households. Oh. So there's where it's 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 about our our viability as a community after the event, rather than just directly, is it going to kill me? So what's the most important thing that government can do? right now and what's the most important thing that individuals can do say you live in one of those smaller cities right now to take care of yourself okay so uh for an individual big difference if you own your own building or not if a, as a renter all you can do is ask your landlord what they've done and and maybe have the option of moving if they haven't done anything but that's a pretty that's a challenging place if you own your own building especially a single family home there are no laws that apply to single family homes in terms of retrofitting because we don't like to tell people what they can do to their own home so every time I've bought a house, I've actually done that four times in my life in Southern California. The first thing I do is contact the foundation specialist, have them come and examine the building and determine what I can do uh, to make it stronger. Mm. Only one of those four times was the answer, nothing. Every other time I spent between 200 to, to $2,000. It wasn't a lot of money and I made it a lot stronger. On the government level, we need to 
really grapple with this, the, the retrofitting problem, but also we need to recognize that our current code, even our best buildings, we are only building to not kill you. Mm. We are spending, uh, we, to save 1% on the cost of construction, we're building buildings that will need to be completely torn down after the event. It'll, we're gonna, if we just changed it and said, make the building repairable and not just survivable, we could be saving probably six dollars for every dollar spent of extra construction costs. Yeah, and you look at a place like Japan where they have some of these massive quakes and you don't see that much damage going forward because they're doing exactly what you're mentioning, right? They're doing exactly that. In Japan, yeah. it's also, there's yeah. a matter yeah. of, of face, right? Right. There, there's, there's personal pride in what happens. Dr. Lucy Jones, you are the best. Uh, thank you for talking about this, and hopefully it will um, cause some action. A lot of what you've said already has in many of the cities that you're talking about. Mm.